An overhead shot of installation housing. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, the annual housing survey is out. Child care providers are needed and a look at your Thanksgiving Day options. These stories and more, but first, the Army has released the annual housing tenant satisfaction survey. And if you're thinking you just did this, you're forgiven. Last year's survey wasn't released until January and the results this summer. An online survey link is being emailed to housing residents from CEL and Associates. The Army, of course, is looking for maximum participation to get the most accurate picture of housing. Completing the survey takes about 10 minutes, and tenants have until December 16th to provide their input. Elsewhere, we spoke with Child and Youth Services Director Fran Jameson about the continuing shortage of child care providers. Jameson talked about the numbers and what CYS is doing to address it. You know, our hiring challenges are probably the same that you'd see anywhere in the country right now. The CYS program tends to have uh, somewhere in the 75 percentile in terms of overall onboard strength, and right now we're about 55 percent. So we are as low in staffing as, since I've been here, still enough to maintain ratio, and, and so the children who are there are in, are in no danger, but we're trying to grow the program and bring us staff and uh, children back from our wait list. So what we're doing to affect that change is how we're hosting hiring events. And one will be held almost every month as we go forward, whether it be in person or, or, or virtually. So our next in-person one will be 16 November at Club Mead. We'll be part of the larger uh, garrison hiring event. And then we'll be hosting a virtual one on December 10th. So we're looking for uh, individuals who have a passion for working with children. Um, obviously, the more experience someone has working with children, whether it be as a teacher or even a caregiver, you know, um, we do all of our training on the job. Uh, we have a fantastic training program. So um, whether you're brand new with working with children or you've been doing it for 15 years, uh, we're interested in having you join our team. In health news, the Army Wellness Center is starting a performance optimization group. The program consists of groups of five to ten individuals meeting bi-weekly for group coaching and wellness assessments. More from Wellness Center Director Noel Austin-Jones. So the performance optimization group is going to be a way for people or members in our community, service members, um, to have communal support outside of their command and outside of the Army Wellness Center where they're working on improving physical performance, um, nutritional diet habits, and stress management, and other health components that will lead to better outcomes, hopefully, on their performance tests with the military. This is our first group that we're doing the group health coaching with. Um, we are planning to do another group starting in January for like people doing New Year's resolutions um, who, you know, the first month of January, everybody's in the gym and they're really motivated, but by February, they've like, it's fallen to the wayside. So we want to help establish um, those habits that they can sustain throughout their life for better health outcomes in the long run as well. So this is just the beginning um, and we'll be offering more in the future. The center is located in building 2474. That's right on Ernie Pyle Street adjacent to Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center. Meanwhile, the holiday season is upon us, and if you believe the Hallmark Channel, it started 10 days before Halloween. In any case, both Club Mead and the Freedom Inn Dining Facility are welcoming back the public for in-house dining on the Thanksgiving holiday. First, let's start with the Freedom Inn. The main Thanksgiving meal service runs from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. with dinner from 3 to 4.30. The meal features your traditional favorites, including shrimp cocktail, roast turkey, porterhouse steak, and a host of desserts. Turning to Club Mead, they actually have two options for those who don't want to deal with cooking and cleanup. First, the club's Thanksgiving buffet runs from noon to 3. All your holiday favorites are on the menu. Reservations are open through November 18th or until they sell out, which is usually the case, so you don't want to wait too long. Call 301-677-6969 to make your reservation. Club Mead's second option is Thanksgiving to go. They're offering complete turkey or ham dinners that include four sides and a pie for dessert. Pickup is November 23rd from 12 to 3 p.m. Orders must be placed by November 17th. Call 301-677-6969. The order form is available at www.mead.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great mid-week. <laughs>